Okay, welcome to the next section in the Visual KPI Designer course. This is all about installing, setting up, and connecting the Visual KPI Designer. So first, let's look at the prerequisites. I'm at transpara.com here in my web browser, and right under our main menu, you can see the system requirements. When I go there, you'll see that I have the server requirements here at the top, and the next step down is the Visual KPI Designer requirements. Really all that's required here is a machine that is running uh, Microsoft Excel 2007 or newer. There are some other prerequisites, but even if you don't have them, our installer will go grab them for you and get them in place um, as you need them. So that's really all you need uh, to have running on your machine. Now most people put the Visual KPI Designer on a client machine, which is then connecting over a network somewhere to the server. If you also want to run this on the server, then please make sure that the, the Excel version that you're using is a 64-bit version for a 64-bit server. That's all you need to know about that. Um, once you have Excel running and you're on the right system, then the next step is to go get the designer itself. For that, we'll go right back to that menu and go to Software Downloads. And I'll have to log in here. If you don't already have an account, please register for one and then log in. And once you're logged in, you will see uh, links to the Visual KPI designer and the server or server manager itself. Now in my case, if you are on a, an older version, not in my case, sorry, in your case, if you're on an older version of the Visual KPI server, you're going to want to get the designer that matches that server version. You can go to the release archive, which you can see down here, to go get that. In my case, I'm on the newest version of the server, so I'm going to go get the very latest Visual KPI designer. When I do that, I'll just save it, and then that's going to download it. You can see it in the lower left here on my browser. And when I click that, it's going to give me this uh, protection thing, and I'll say more info, and then run anyway. Yours might look a little bit different. But basically, you need to get to the point where you can run that installation. When I do so, it's going to bring up the installation wizard. And in my case, I already have the Visual KPI Designer installed, so it's going to ask me if I want to modify or repair or remove it. In my case, I'm just going to cancel out of this. In your case, you'll get a little wizard that you can run through, and that's how you install the designer. Once it's set up, it will open automatically. So um, I'm going to finish out of here, and then I'm going to open it just like you would. So if I go to my start menu, it's in the menuing system here under Transpara, or in my case, I've pinned it to my taskbar and it sits right here. When I click, if you watch closely, you'll see that it first opens Microsoft Excel. Second, it will open the Visual KPI Designer add-in. And third, it will connect to the most recent server that I've been working on here, which is the power generation site. So that's how it's going to uh, interact. Now, if this is the first time that you have installed the designer, then it doesn't know where to connect to. So it's probably going to open up a prompt that looks a little bit like this, which is going to tell you who do you want or what server do you want to interact with. Now, let's open up a site that we want to connect to here. So let me just go to demo.transpara.com in my browser. And this is that power generation site. And when you open that up, pay specific attention to the URL up here. So you'll see that the URL here is demo.transpara.com slash power gen, and then some extra stuff out here. What we really want to worry about is this first part. And so yours might look different. It might be an IP address and then something, or it might be a, a FD, FQDN like this, plus, a, plus some name or not. Um, anyways, you want to take that part of the URL, and when you connect to a new site, let's do that here. Um, if I want to create a connection to a site, then I can name it whatever I want. So I can call this Power Gen 2 if I want. And then you're going to want to take that URL that you had up here in the beginning and just put it right in this spot. So in my case, that's just going to be without the 2. And that will show me what I need to connect. Now, in your case, if, if your administrator, the server administrator, has set up security, you're going to want to put your credentials here. In my case, this demo site is open to the public web. So the next thing I want to do just to prove that I'm on the right version and, and that it's working is click Test Connection. And you can see that I have a successful connection over to my server. So I could say OK to that um, and apply it. 
and that's going to give me a connection to this Power Gen 2 site. It's actually the same as the Power Gen one I was connected to before. So let's go back and connect to that other one, or let me remove Power Gen 2 here, and I'm going to click Power Gen, the one that was set up. Looks exactly the same, but has my security credentials in it, etc. So that is how you connect up to a server. That included everything from the prerequisites to how to go get the designer. If you already have a designer version that's old and you want to upgrade, it's the exact same process. It will just install right over the old one and it will re retain all of your settings. And then I also showed you how to connect to up to a Visual KPI server um, in that case. So with that, we'll move on to the next section and look at the user interface.